Hey guys, this is Hamilton Klein talking about my new Chrome extension, Image GIMP. I wanted to show everyone some of the basic functionality of this extension, since some things are not readily apparent. Let's start at the beginning. I'm assuming you've already installed the extension, and now you've seen this button right here show up. Click it, and you can see a pop-up with some more buttons and a text prompt. All of our commands can be entered into the text prompt, but the buttons are there to ease the use of the most used commands. Let's start with the make command, right here. It says make new list. You'll see that if I press the appropriate button, the text command also shows up, so that you can learn the commands as you use the extension. The make command creates a new list and shows the GIMP box. You can see that there are basic navigation buttons in the interface itself. If we click an image, if we load up the image, we get a direct link to the image, and now we see the buttons right here. The left and right buttons shift through the image list. So you can go right and left. And the top button allows us to see the image at full size. It will continue to show all images at full size until the top button is pressed again. Although you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard for all of these commands. The next three buttons in the pop-up are clear list, show box, and hide box. Hiding the box is a nice way to get back to the web page without removing anything you've tampered with in the list. And clear list is a way to start fresh. Speaking of tampering, let's do a little tampering right now. This button right here is the Remove Duplicates button. If you go through our list, you can see that not only do we have a whole bunch of duplicate items right here, but they're actually the same items that were up here. So what we do want to do is we want to come over here, click the no duplicates item or button, and then our list is much more manageable. Now see all these images that start with the word backdrop? A handy tool for thumbnails, which often have a T or the word thumb in them somewhere, is the replace command. Right here. Let's click the button, and the replace syntax is brought up. Let's replace the word backdrop with something. Click enter. Now you'll see that all the instances of the text have been changed, even though now these new links are bad and won't work anymore. Um, let's try something else. Let's try another handy tool which is the keep or remove command since all the something images are now bad let's remove those from our list by typing rem something notice that any image with the word something is now gone likewise if we only wanted to see jpeg images we could type the opposite which is keep jpeg and now only jpeg images are shown there are more commands available, but this covers the basics. Thanks for sticking with me, and I hope you like my extension.